Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic of discussion is anal canal. The competency of this topic is at the end of the session, phase 1 MBBS students must be able to know the anatomical position, features, relations, blood supply, nerve supply, lymphatic drainage and the clinical anatomy of anal canal. Before moving into the topic proper, let's see the clinical problem. A 64-year-old male patient presented with a complaint of passage of blood during the passage of feces. He has no pain. He has been having this problem for some years. What is the most probable diagnosis and what is the anatomical basis of this condition and what are the causes which predispose to this condition? Let's discuss this case again at the end of the discussion. Let's move into the topic proper. Anal canal in Latin anus means lower opening. So the, this is the anal canal. So this is the anal canal. So the anal canal is the lowermost opening of the GAT or it is the lower opening of the large intestine. The extent of the anal canal is just below the pelvic diaphragm or just below the anorectal junction. This is the anorectal junction. and exteriorly into the external anal orifice or anal verge. So the extent is from the anorectal junction that is above the anorectal junction this is the rectum. Below this junction the rectum continues is anal canal. This junction is located at the level of pelvic diaphragm. So the pelvic diaphragm is formed by the levator ani muscle. So the rectum is located within the true pelvis above the pelvic diaphragm and the anal canal is the continuation of the rectum. It is present below the pelvic diaphragm especially so the location is in the perineum below the pelvic diaphragm from the anorectal junction to the anal verge. Anal verge is the external opening of the anal canal. Posteriorly, the anal canal is related to the tip of the coccyx. So, this is the sacral vertebra. So, this is the sacral vertebra. In the lower end, you can see the coccyx bone. So, the anal canal is located around 2 to 3 cm from the tip of the coccyx. The lower opening is around 4 cm from the front of the tip of the coccyx. So, this is about the introduction about the anal canal. So, it is the lowermost opening of the GAT. It is present in front of tip of the coccyx and it is the continuation of the rectum at the anorectal junction. Externally, it is uh, opens as the anal orifice or anal verge. So, this picture shows the frontal section of the uh, rectum as well as anal canal. So, this is the sigmoid colon and sigmoid colon continues as rectum. So, this is the frontal section to show the rectum and anal canal. So, this is the rectum. The anorectal junction it is continuous is anal canal. So, this is the levator ani muscle. So, the levator ani is the pelvic diaphragm. So, the rectum is present above the levator ani muscle and the anal canal is present below this. So, this is the anorectal junction. So, the lowermost opening is known as anal verge. So, this is the anal verge. So, this is the colonoscopic view to show the anorectal junction. So, this is the area for the rectum and this is the area of anal canal. You are viewing the anal canal from the lower aspect. So, this is the anal canal and this is rectum. So, this indicates the anorectal junction. Let us see the dimensions and peculiarities. So, the length of the anal canal is around 4 cm. So, as we uh, saw already this is the pelvic diaphragm or anorectal junction. This is anal verge. So, the length is approximately around 4 cm. The diameter is 1.25 to 1.9 cm. That is approximately 2 cm in diameter. The anterior wall. This is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect. The anterior wall is shorter than the posterior wall. The direction of the anal canal is somewhat directed downwards and backwards. The anal canal is surrounded by the spinters. So, these are the spinters surrounding the anal canal. These spinters maintains the anal canal in a closed position except at the time of defecation. 
so while empty it remains like a antero posterior slit so it looks like a antero posterior slit because of the approximation of anterior and posterior wall let's see the relations the anterior relation and the posterior relation this is the schematic diagram to show the relations of the anal canal anteriorly so this is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect anteriorly it is related to the perineal body or it is attached to the through its sphincter to the perineal body perineal body is the important fibromuscular structure which forms the pelvic floor numerous muscles attached in this perineal body in which one of the sphincter of anal canal is also attached to this perineal body so anterior relation is perineal body posteriorly here you can see the bone so this is the coccyx so to the tip of the coccyx it attached by a ano coccygeal body or this is known as ano coccygeal raphe or body ano coccygeal body so the anterior relation is perineal body posterior relation is ano coccygeal body or ano coccygeal raphe this this is the frontal section to see the lateral relations so on either side laterally it is related to ischio anal fossa both say there is a right and left ischio anal fossa so these are the relations once again i repeat anteriorly it is related to perineal body posteriorly it is related to ano coccygeal raphe or ano coccygeal body on either side it is related to a ischio anal fossa it is mainly filled with fat so let's see the relations in case of female 